Hey movers and shakers, welcome to another installment of the Seven Figure Moving Academy. Today you're talking about my favorite subject in marketing, postcards. This secret strategy that I used took me from about $300,000 a year to almost a million dollars. So I love sharing this and I love giving out the data. But you don't want to hear me talk about it. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt your video, but I just wanted to talk to you about how you can make thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in the next thirty days. That's right, thirty to forty, fifty thousand dollars in the next thirty days. All you have to do is follow very certain, precise directions and strategies, and you could be making up to fifty thousand dollars in the next thirty days. Almost guaranteed. Now, how are you going to do that? You're going to join the Seven Figure Moving Academy membership group, and you're going to have access to everything that we have inside the membership group. This includes documents. This includes contracts. This includes terms and uh, conditions. Uh, this includes credit card vouchers. Uh, waivers that you will actually be able to use to protect your business as well as you'll be able to network and communicate with some of the biggest and most profitable moving companies in Canada and the United States of America. So these people are there to help you make your business bigger and better than you ever imagined and I'm there too. You will also have immediate and all 24 7 access to me via this group anytime that you have a question all you have to do is use the group now this is not a get rich quick scheme this is not hey you just do this plug and play and you can sit back on your couch and smoke a, a blunt or something no 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 this is you actually having to get up off of your derriere and go and do something but by doing these very easy one two three steps you could literally make an extra thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars to your business income if you follow these specific strategies. I invite you to come to our membership and become a member. Now we have annual membership and we have a monthly membership. If you take the annual membership, you'll save a lot of money. If you do the membership access, it's less than a dollar fifty a day. I mean, you could buy coffee from a uh, gas station for less than that okay so guys go to sevenfiguremovingacademy.co slash membership to find out how you could become a member of the seven figure moving academy and join the seven fma family thank you guys now back to your video now let's jump a little bit for the market because this is going to be my last question so I see you always talking about the 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 the, the postcards, right? I love postcards. postcards. Yes. What is a what is a percentage? You know, like a benchmark, so you can get as a return on the postcards. If I send a hundred cards a week, is this is a good way? Is a good, good number to start, or how how many cards should I start off with so I can? Because I don't want to disappoint myself as well. I have one guy who answered the phones for me. And then I want to disappoint him as well, saying we're getting no calls, no crap, you know. Right. Well, and, first of all, a salesperson shouldn't, shouldn't be taking calls in an office, right? They should be getting calls to their phone and they should be out beating the street and doing a bunch of cold calling. But to answer your question, it really depends on your area. Now, you're in New York. I'm in Lansing, Michigan. Uh, my, Lansing, Michigan, I got about 250,000 population for the entire greater Lansing area, right. right? You're in New York City. You've got about 10 million. Yeah. Okay. So the, the orders of magnitude are completely different. So me sending out 100 postcards a week, that's a considerable amount. For you, 100 postcards a week, that's like, Really? you're not even trying just to be just to be honest okay. you're only sending out 100 postcards a week in new york city you're not even trying right right however depending on your budget maybe 100 100 is a good start right 
Now that would be, let's just hypothetically take, say that would be a good start. Now, if you're doing a hundred a week, it's going to take you about four to six weeks before you start to see any really traction with your, your postcards being people calling on your postcards. Right. Right. Out of that, you're only going to, depending on how good you design your postcard, what size your postcard is, you can expect through, through uh, industry standards, you can, you can expect one to 2% of ROI are calls from your postcard. Okay. So you can see that the more postcards you send out, the more return you're going to get on them. Okay. Now, and it's going to take you about a month to a month and a half before you see any kind of return on that. I was getting 3% ROI on my, my postcards. The reason for that, one, it was a professionally designed postcard. Two, it was the largest postcard that you could send out with a first class stamp, right? So it was 11 inches by five or six inches or something like that. So it was, that was the postcard I sent out and it was for color, right? You don't have to spend a lot of money designing your postcard, but you should, you should spend some time designing a very nice postcard, right? Yeah. Um, so I would go to somebody in the area that could design a nice postcard based on your logo and the colors of your business. Right. Because you want your postcards to match your logo, to match your website, etc. Right. I told a guy the other day the, the same thing. You are you're going to be judged based on your appearance. OK, this does not just mean your physical appearance, but this is going to be the appearance of your trucks, the appearance of your crew, the appearance of your logo, the appearance of your colors, etc. That's how you're going to be judged. It's, maybe it shouldn't be like that, but that's the way it is. So if you just go and get a black and white postcard at the smallest size, you're going to be looked upon far differently than, let's say, Dumbo. And I don't know. I've never seen a Dumbo postcard, so I don't know. But let's say Dumbo does the largest postcard, and it's four color. Right? Dumbo's going to get a lot more eyeballs on their postcard than you that just sent a cheap-ass clip art postcard. Does this make sense? A lot of sense. My so, when, on marketing materials, you need to spend that extra dollar to make it. But again, it, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just have to spend the money that's going to make it effective. Okay? Okay. And that comes with a little bit of experience, and you'll learn that as more postcards you send out. So Because you're going to want to try different postcards. You're going to send group A one postcard. You're going to send group B a postcard. And they're going to be different postcards. You're going to see which postcards pull in the best. Then you're going to make tweaks from that. You know, you take postcard B, let's say it's the winner. Then from postcard B, you're going to make that into two different postcards. You're going to have a version A and a version B again. Version A wins. And then you're going to get it down and you're going to tweak it down. And then you're going to have the perfect postcard eventually. Right? And it you. takes a little bit of time. Right? But that's the best. For, for the same people? Like house for sale, right? I send out one card and then, you know, sometimes the home stays 30 to 60 days. How, how often should I send for the same location, the same target? Great question. For homes, if you're going to send them to homes or, or people in homes, right? First of all, you need to hit the medium, medium uh, income homes and high medium income homes and above. You don't right. want to send them to anybody below that because they're just going to be crappy customers, right? They're going to want to wheel and deal and then they're not going to pay you and yeah. they're just going to be headaches. So don't deal with them, right. right? If you're going to send a postcard, send it out to people with money. That way you can charge more money, make more money, get better people, get better trucks, blah, 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 right? right? So send them to those things. So if you're sending them to that level of homes, then what you're going to do is the people that list their home for sale is going to get a postcard right then once their house goes under contract which means it's now being in the process of being sold you want to send them another postcard 
right? Because those people are going to move within the next 30 days, typically. Next 30 to 60 days, those guys are going to move. Their house is for sale. They need a mover. They're going to move. So you want to send it. So when the house gets listed, you want to send them a postcard. And then when their house goes under contract, you want to send them a postcard. And if you're really good and your salesman's good, he's not only going to talk to the people who are to sold the house looking to move and do an estimate for them. He's going to say, hey, who bought your house? Right. And then you're going to send them information because the people who are going to move into the house need a mover. Right. Yes. Yes. Wow. That's fucking crazy. Amazing. Thank you, Jay. Yeah. So follow up with the cards. Thank you, Jay. Thank you very much. Do, do we get a copy for this? I, I'll probably post this on YouTube. So look for it here in the next couple of weeks. You got it. Take care. Thank, Thank you. Have a great day.